Hello, hard hats, and welcome back to Construction Simulator Airport job we are doing. The terminal, almost done. Uh, shouldn't take us too long to finish up this job today. We can move on to the tower, uh, which is the next and final job for the airport DLC on the European map. Uh, first up, compacting gravel. And then I think I just got to move some shrubberies around, and I, I think that may do it. Well, then, of course, you know, we got to talk to, uh, I, I don't know if I gave her a name. If she has a name, I don't know what her name is, but the uh, engineer that always tells us the stories about her brother, which uh, I could care less, but uh, she'll tell us anyways. Anywho, let's just go ahead and make a few laps around compacting the gravel. Then I'm sure I'll probably have to move around some of my equipment afterwards. I'm probably going to be in the construction zone. We got we got things everywhere. We got stuff in the front, stuff in the back. But then the question I do have is, uh, where's the tower going to be? Probably going to be on the other side of the runway. Just to make me have to either drive everything back down to the other side or teleport if it's a slow moving vehicle. Yeah, should be able to get this all done and we'll have to go around and find the last two or three percent to finish off this job. Can I get it done in one pass? I think so. Will he? Yes, he will. Alright, let's go ahead and hope we gotta do is excavate the ditch. Well, that's gonna look like, like it's a job for the excavator because it's not wide enough for the dozer. And this last 20% uh, of this job is, I won't say dragging on, but we were going at a pretty good clip, you know, earlier on in the job, and now it's kind of like, feels like it's slowing down a bit. All right, excavator, we got to get into this side here. Flip around this way. There we go. And then forward, young man. Just wait for the excavator to pick up speed. There it goes. I feel like I should have done the stuff out back before we put the building up, but... Oh, this bucket is rather big for the trench that we're we're, we're going to be digging. I'll probably end up digging up some of the job we just did, honestly. Alright, uh, I think we'll do the back drag thing. Probably. I don't know how deep I got to go with this. Let's see by looking at it. I don't think I'm going deep enough. Let me, uh, let's see how far down I should be going. We'll put the bucket way down in. Alright, maybe I am going deep enough. Alright, we'll put the claws down like right about there. And now we'll just start backing up. I don't know if anything's really... Whoop, nope, not, not the way I want to go. Pardon me. Nope, now, now it's all gone. It's all gone pear shape. Alright, we're climbing up the ladder. 62% done. Buckets. Like, almost full. I may not be able to dig up where that tile is. No, I cannot. Okay, well, let's put that there. And yeah, this is a job for a small excavator, which, uh, yeah, we don't own. We don't own small stuff here at Nailed It. 
We, we don't know what the small is. We just go with the big stuff. Oh, there we go. Well, that job is done. Uh, we'll just pile the dirt in that wheelbarrow right there. Well, okay, I missed. Let's go ahead and clear the area. Now, I know we're not done. We gotta move those shrubs. And they are gonna be going out here, right? Uh, well, one, two, three, four. Okay, so they're all going out here. Don't think that surprised anyone. And then we'll talk to what's her name, and that should uh, that should do it, really. Uh, let's put the camera like right, whoop, right about there. Now it says four shrubs, and I got five. So did I buy an extra one? Maybe I did. It's been kind of confusing on this job. I didn't buy all the material, or when I thought I bought all the material the first time, there wasn't enough space for it to all go there. So I had to go rebuy it. If that makes sense. And I'm pretty sure the shrubs are going to go in the trench that we just built, or dug. And I guess we'll just grab this one here. I don't know if I can resell back to the store material that I bought. I know I can store it in a warehouse somewhere. wonder if all that machinery I got sitting out front here, is that going to be out of the way? I hope so. Alright, this boom should be able to reach this out back here without a problem. And if things go well, we'll be finishing just before it gets dark. And now, the last set of shrubs, or sorry, saplings. It's a pallet of hedge saplings. It's probably going to be a water fountain out front by the playground here. And no, I still have not fixed anything. Uh, deal with it. <laughs> I am. Keep saying I need to do it. I should do it. And really, I just want to keep on building. Whoop. And there we go. Uh, unpack construction material. I'm going to leave the crane right there because it might be easier just to reset the boom and move the crane. I'm going to have to move the crane anyways because it's over the job site, so I'm sure they're going to ask me to clear it. There we go. And oh, I got to move a lot of stuff. Um, I'm actually up back here. That stuff needs to be moved. Uh, that's off the job site now. Excavator. Dozer needs to be moved. Alright, so it might be just the stuff out back here. Okay, that's far enough. Alright, that's far enough. Must be the white line. And, of course, now the crane. Uh, 
All right, so maybe if the, if the tower is going to be on the opposite side of the runway, maybe I'll bring my maintenance truck up, and every time I bring something over, then, um, then I can go ahead and fix things. Yep, so I didn't use that pallet, so I bought one pallet too many, apparently. What about your brother? The airport project is not only intended to give the city more prestige, but also to bring people from all walks of life to this place. With this terminal, we have almost completed the work to make the place an experience for everyone. The only thing missing is the control tower. That will certainly not be an easy job. See you soon. Nothing about your brother. Now I'm disappointed. Are there going to be people walking around? Well, they're they're outside in the front uh, front yard. I don't see no kids going down the slide. Pizza always a good idea. Well, I I can't disagree with that. All right, well, no kids in the playground. That's a little bit disappointing, but... And it just opened like 30 seconds ago. Give it some time. Uh, jobs, campaign, uh, DLC, airfield, control tower, make sure it's on medium, accept. And... Where is she? <laughs> uh, okay, so she is here somewhere, right? Control deck. Where is she? Oh, just a little bit of ways down here. Okay. Well, a little bit of it's dug up. Finally, the control tower is the ultimate task to bring the airfield to life. It is now up to you and your team to move a lot of earth and lay deep foundations into the ground. This is necessary because the structure has to withstand all kinds of conditions. I have requested some elements that you can pick up later to build the control room. Of course, the radar unit on the roof is a must. I have supervised the development myself, and I'm very much looking forward to when it is installed. Well, that's twice now I talked to her. She didn't mention her brother. What's the deal here? Uh, let's go back to our company premises. We're going to grab the service vehicle. This is not what my yard looks like. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Um, let's go back to here. Wait, I just realized. Control tower. 20% done? That's uh, rather interesting. Uh, we're going to park this just over here. And make sure I change that to that. And now we're going to go ahead and take a coffee break till morning. All right, uh, excavate the construction pit. Well, yeah, that, that's going to require the dozer. The dozer is, there's the dozer. Uh, can I sneak through there? I don't think so. Well, since we're on this side, I think we will... We will do the construction pit, then we'll mosey on over to the maintenance vehicle and start repairing this stuff.
Let's drop down here. Can I actually get... Oh, they're not going to let me go. Alright, I'm just... Oh. Alright, so I thought they would just let me go in from this side, and uh, really, they don't want me to. It's like an invisible wall there. Alright, just ignore the big hole that's there right now. Alright, so we'll have to go down from the ramp, I suppose. Alright, whoops, I'm on the camera. You know that's going to happen. Uh, lower the blade. That is a lot of dirt. All right, let me back up before I get stuck. Because we're not really getting down to where we need to be, I don't think. Love how the dirt just disappears. Right now I'm just trying to take out little sections of dirt, but it's going to slow me down all the same. Even with a big bucket on the excavator, this job would take me quite a while to remove all this dirt. Alright, let's see if I can get to the other side here. So you're going to tell me 20% of the job was talking to her to start with? Seems kind of odd. Don't think I'll ever figure out Construction Sim and their ideas of how much of the job is complete. Get this halfway done with digging out this little pit. Don't know where the yellow line is because it's kind of disappeared now. But of course, we do have a rough idea where it is. Alright, let's start working on some of this chunky stuff on this side. One heck of a dozer to be pushing that much dirt.
going to put a lot of wear and tear on the dozer, but as I said, we'll fix it once we get done excavating this uh, pit over here. Then um, probably should visit the store and purchase what we need. And I think I did see a spot for the crane to go down. This should get us up to at least 90%, I would think. Uh, how about 91%? Now we will focus a little bit back on this side here. This should do it. There we go. May have to use this again in just a moment, but let's clear the job site. And now we need to deliver a lot of stuff. All right, dozer fueled and repaired. Bring that over here, just to get it out of the way. All right, to the store. I mean, that, that should do it. All right, and we will install the crane as well. All right, so ceiling components, formwork, rebar mesh. We'll start with that in the cable drum. Don't know exactly where this needs to go, but we will see it here somewhere. Oh, there we go. And the cable drum goes right next to it. Not a, as much material here as it was for the terminal, but I think we got to go get a lot of material elsewhere for this job. All right, two ceiling components. Uh, is it these two over here? Yes, it is. Uh, 
And of course, we'll be pouring concrete here in just a moment. Since it's a small area, and of course it's below ground, I think our concrete pump that we have here, the all-in-one should be able to do the job. I was going to say watch out for the lights, but I thought I was actually going to get over it in time, but I did not, like always. Alright, you know what? I feel like plopping this one down here. Alright, we gotta compact the soil next. going to bring the crane over to where the material is. And let's see, where, where's the soil compactor? Don't think I'll teleport, it is just about a hundred meters down the road. May take me a moment to get there and equipment like this, but we shall get there in a minute or two. Kind of a tight area to be soil compacting. Well, it's not. It's an odd shape that I got to compact. That's going to make it a little bit awkward. Probably best is to go forward and backward and try not try not to just keep going in circles. I gotta get that camera to stop rotating. There we go. like I'm covering the job at a good rate, 56% done. Every time we get done with a piece of equipment, we'll drive it out to the maintenance truck and get it squared away. But 
think I can get it just by heading for the ramp the last two percent oh no <laughs> no gotta use the drill The drill I have, uh, I mean, I actually prefer the drill more than I do the concrete pumps, <laughs> I think. All right. That is going to be back at the headquarters, I think. Yep. Alright, let's get this down on flat ground, even ground. I will use the stationary crane to put the pipes in place. I'm not going to use the crane on this. I've tried it before, uh, mostly off camera, and I just, yeah, me, me and the, the cable on this, we're not agreeing too much. Now let's go ahead and get these pipes in place. We'll get the two yellow ones, or the ones with the yellow stripes, in place, and then we'll hook up to one of the other ones just to prepare. Let's hook up to this one here. All right, let's get back. Can I jump over this little gate fence? Sure can. Uh, let's see, how am I gonna get, I gotta angle more in like this, I think. Well, it shows it as green, so we'll see. All right, connect. Not yet. Now we connect. All right, so we need everything on the bottom one. That's the one we're doing to turn all gray. And it didn't. Oh, my drill is full. Oh no, it won't come out of the ground. Oh, because I was still connected to the pipe. Oh, okay. Um... I don't claim I know how to use this that well, <laughs> of course. All right, back into here. Connect. Oh, there we go. Just had to do a little bit extra, huh? All right, so we're not going to move the crane to go over to do the other one. We're just going to get that out of the way.
because no sense of moving the crane while I'm right where I need to be. Actually, let's not get that close. I probably have to move the crane right where I was going to put that. That would not be a good thing. That's a good camera angle. Uh, the pipe is in all the way. But we don't have all the dirt out yet. Now we do. Okay, we'll bring this over here and give it a little shake. Uh, let's go ahead and drive mode. Apparently that will be good enough for it. Alright, so we got to wait for the top parts of that to gray out. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and, of course, get the dirt off the drill. Let's not fall down the footing column because I've done that a couple times. Let's just raise it up over the top there. There we go. And bring it back over to the building material stuff. Got to see my shadow from the sun of me jumping over the over the little fence there. Pipe is in. Now we just got to get out the remainder of the dirt. All right, so that went relatively smooth, actually. A little bit of a brain fart on the first one when I didn't, you know, didn't get the pipe all the way in the dirt. And I couldn't remember how to detach from the pipe and do what we needed to do. Uh, let's just back this out like this for now. All right, now what we need to do is we need to get the all-in-one pump. There it is. Ah, I didn't quite make it around the corner. Um, let's repair and fix it first, I guess, because we're kind of like right here. I don't know how many more I got to do to get my company up to the highest level. But we're going to definitely work our way towards that today.
Uh, it's been a moment, so it's going to look kind of awkward, like it always is. And it's going in. This takes a while. Okay, just had to keep it there for a second. <laughs> I thought it was lined up. I'm like, I don't see the numbers going up. Then it started going up. Question is, will it get full before I run out of uh, wonderful, wonderful concrete? I guess the, that answers my question. Uh, okay, I can leave that there. Fine by me. But this needs to leave the construction site. Not the best place I put the pile of dirt. Unpack construction material. Well, I think we can do that before we call it an evening. Or the slab. I don't know if I want to do it with the pump or the crane. I suppose the pump is here, but I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it all, uh, all in one go. Um, actually, before I call, it, let's go ahead and go to company warehouse. Uh, all that stuff is in my. Oh, that's in the world. Sorry, that's in my warehouse. Uh, pallet of. All right, I got metal in the warehouse. And we'll get that delivered to the job site. Perfect. Now we'll sleep till morning. This, I think, will be easier rather than having with the pump. Definitely once, maybe even twice. Yeah, hitting the walls will rotate this on its own. So we'll just go with it wherever it's pointing, I guess. And the only thing about the bucket is it does run out of concrete. A little bit faster, but I think it's pouring it faster as well. Covering up the rebar at a pretty good rate.
All right. Almost 60%. And the way I fiddle with the pump, I think I'm doing it faster than I would have with that machine. Shouldn't be that hard to get this last 10%. Uh, do I, am I going to be pouring more? I'm going to leave that there for a moment. Because I'm unpacking the, uh, the form work, which means probably pouring the walls. Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, might as well fill it up with con empty. I gotta empty it before I can refill it. I mean, with that little bit left in there. Alright. Thought I heard it going in, but we'll have to do the trick of bringing it over here. Lowering it down. Oh wow, we're going through the concrete really fast here. Nope, don't reset it yet. Or at all, actually. <laughs> I mean, don't fill up with concrete. I thought it was going to be empty by the time I got to that screen, but it wasn't. All right, let's turn it around this way. Yeah, I'm a little bit more clumsy with this today. I'm almost in full concentration mode trying to get this poured. <laughs> Alright, we're kind of lined up with this wall here, so we'll go ahead and continue on with this. that concrete just disappear from that bucket <laughs> all right let's bring it uh over here well we're almost up to 80 percent Uh, we're going to bring the bucket actually over to here.
Can't tell if the pouring's on or off, but it, oh, it's on. I just didn't hear it going in. Well, we got this whole wall over here that needs to be done. This doesn't feel right the way I'm pouring the walls, but it works. Uh, 98%. And 99, and I gotta fill the bucket one more time, I guess. All right. Now it's full. Uh, we will put the bucket back over here. And since we're in the crane, we will, I think, for the last job of the day, get these seven ceiling elements on. Because we're going to have plenty more to do next time. Well, if you want to look at it this way, in theory, we should be able to finish the job next episode, right? <laughs> I think uh, the, the latter half of this job is going to take quite a bit. I didn't see how long it took us to finish up the terminal today. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes. So in about 45 minutes time, we got more than halfway done here. Number four. Now to the bigger pieces. And of course, this usually means pouring concrete on top of it. And I'll probably keep using the bucket at that point. And the last piece. Perfect. Fill the area with soil and, of course, pour concrete. But I think we're going to whip the crane over here and kind of get it all set up, ready to go. And a pretty good start to the tower. Even though we just made it back up to ground level. Uh, <laughs> that's where we are. But maybe next episode, it'll be towering. And uh, that plane keeps circling the airport, waiting to land. Probably not, but you never know. Uh, yeah, we'll be bringing all that material over here. Oh, yeah, I do got that uh, pallet. Can I, if I go to company, if I go to warehouse in the world, there we go. Um, so I can store all of those. 
Now if I go to warehouse, can I just... It says remove, but does that mean I get credits for it? Sell. Okay, I got to go to this page. All right, sell. There we go. Uh, get my money back on it. I don't need it sitting in the warehouse. Uh, so now I learned that. Now you learned that as well, if you didn't know. But anywho, uh, yeah, terminal is done. Tower, halfway. And then uh, the airport, completely done, I suppose. But if you made this far in the video and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out the channel and the video more than you know. And also while you're down there, that subscribe and notification bell as well. Might want to tap on those so you don't miss out more content like this. But that is going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.